Good afternoon. We just got to our room in Sayulita and this place is definitely our vibe. It really feels very Byron Bay kind of, like lots of beautiful little cafes. The views to the beach are amazing. So I thought I would just really quickly show you around our room and then we're going to head out for some lunch. This is the little downstairs entry. So you just come up to the stairs because we are kind of in the very top room. I absolutely love the ceilings in here. And we also have this small little sunken lounge kind of area. So that's sort of the entry to the room. And then if you pop through here, that's our beautiful balcony out to the view, which I'll show you in a second. But we've got this window, which leads down to a bit of a common area and the pool and things outside. So we've got the bed over here. And then if you head through to this section, we've got a little mini bar and a small little kitchen area and then straight into our bathroom. And it's all just surrounded by nature, which is really beautiful. It feels super private, but still really close to everything as well. And this is the beautiful coastal view down to the beach off the balcony. And also there is a whole nother area down below here, which has a little cafe and an extra pool and a deck and everything too. So I think we'll be really happy here. First night in Sayulita and we're just heading off to dinner now. We're gonna to go to a place called Rustica. We wanted to go to Mary's, this taco place, but we might have to wait until tomorrow because apparently it's closed. So we're gonna get a move on, but I'm just wearing this cute little polka dot skirt, something very lightweight. Cause when we went out earlier today, it was so hot and sweaty. It's wet season, so it's really humid. So this is kind of the perfect outfit for that. second night in Sayulita and it is very hot here hence the outfit but I've actually taken a clip for my hair as well because it's kind of impossible to leave it down when it's being so humid but we're going to a place called Mary's which is supposed to be the best taco place in town so I'll bring you guys along. Good morning from Sayulita. I feel like I've lost my voice a little bit because we did actually go out for some cocktails last night at a bar and it was a little bit noisy. It was a very cute place called El Escondido, I think. Um, and I had this watermelon margarita thing. It was absolutely delicious. But this morning I am actually heading off to a place called Organic Hay. It's like an acai bowl place and I love acai bowls and it's clearly the weather for it because it is so humid and hot here already. I just did a couple of workouts in the room. Jazz is already headed out somewhere else. So we'll kind of just do our own thing for the morning, which is totally fine by me because I'm used to solo traveling. So I don't mind when everyone needs to just kind of have their own little space on a bit of a group trip but today is actually our last full day in Sayulita and then tomorrow we are getting a bus to a place called Guadalajara so today is just going to be a bit of a beach day a bit of a going to cafes I'm going to take my laptop to this current cafe now and do a little bit of work I would kind of compare Sayulita to Byron Bay it's like very digital nomad and like a lot of young people super fun really easy going um, you would have seen I got my cute little travel bracelet yesterday as well but it's definitely cheaper here than it was in Punta Mita um, Mary's taco place last night the tacos were like four dollars each so much much more reasonable and I just love the vibe I kind of wish we skipped the other place and just came here but it's really nice to be able to see a little bit of everything as well so that's the plan I've been following a blog actually which I'm gonna leave a link down below from a girl called Salty Lux and she pretty much had from what I could see the best recommendations for Sayulita for 
I suppose some of the more aesthetic things that I'm kind of interested in. So that is the plan and I'll bring you guys along with me. And then tonight we are going for a sunset horse ride through a little bit of the jungle and along the beach. So I absolutely cannot wait. <laughs> from Guadalajara. We actually just moved here today and I'm very, very sorry if the camera is shaky, but there's actually nowhere for me to put you down in this room, maybe on the shelf behind me or something, but I'm looking a little bit worse for wear because we actually got a bus for four hours from Puerto Vallarta to Guadalajara. So it sort of just like winds up all through the hills and I'm not really the best with kind of getting motion sickness and stuff. So it was a very, very comfortable bus. I think the brand was Futura. I'll make sure I answer in the comments down below if any of you are traveling in Mexico in future and you want it because it was beautiful, beautiful coaches. They fully had like reclining seats and a bathroom that was actually really clean and like TV screens and everything. So as far as getting like a long haul bus, if you will, like these, this brand was amazing. Definitely better than what I'd previously had when I was in Mexico, but Jazz and I just raced on down to the restaurant because it's literally like 5 p.m. and I had breakfast this morning at Anchor Cafe in Sayulita and then didn't eat until now. So I was literally beside myself. I was so, so hungry. I literally couldn't think. Like when the hotel was checking us in, I'm just like, whatever. And then I breezed through the room tour before because I was just trying to get everything filmed before settling in and making a mess. But his local friend, who is the one at that wedding we're here for, is coming to meet us in about an hour. So I thought I would just pop up here and freshen up. We just had some beautiful welcome cocktails down in the bar, which was a mojito and, sorry, a margarita and a paloma. And now I am just gonna freshen up and then we'll head out with them for some dinner. Afternoon. We are now in a place called Ajijik, which is where the wedding is going to be. So everything is getting set up currently behind me in a marquee in the garden. And this place is called the Garden of Dreams. It's like a boutique little hotel. So I think in total there is maybe like nine rooms and a bunch of Edwin's family, who is the groom, are here and they're all Dutch. And then a whole bunch of Tanja's family are here and they're all Mexican. So it's a bit of a mixed bag and there's also some of his other friends from around the world like us from Australia and one of his friends from Canada too so it's been really fun so far we actually came here from Guadalajara yesterday and I think it cost me about $80 in an Uber because it's about an hour away so sort of like Brisbane to the Gold Coast or Melbourne to Geelong or something like that it was a pretty smooth ride and yeah now everyone's just doing running all the running around behind me to get set up for the wedding here tomorrow and tonight we have a bit of a mixed dinner so I think there's literally like 80 people going I didn't realize it was going to be that big but that's the vibe so I'm just enjoying some time reading a book by the pool and we've just been at a couple of nice organic cafes and things this morning as well it's a really cute slow town a, a lot of Americans a lot of American expats live here and it is much much cheaper than a bunch of the other places we've been as well so really just enjoying a bit of laid-back time and we're here for about four days so that's going to be the conclusion of our Mexico part of the trip
we've just come up to this mountaintop restaurant that was such a scary drive <laughs> they don't have seat belts in any of the taxis here so no one tell my mum because she'd probably have a heart attack but we were having a little joke last night about the lake so it's called Lake Chapala and it's this beautiful lake it's honestly so majestic but apparently it is like you can't swim in it you can't kayak in it you can't do anything in it and I hope I don't have the story incorrect but apparently it was sort of like receding a number of years ago and people went and planted crops and barbed wire and all sorts of stuff in there and then when the water came back people didn't clear it out so it's been a big problem it's also a little bit polluted which is super unfortunate because it kind of is so inviting that you want to be able to swim in it but we said at dinner like why don't they just clean it up you could do it like one square meter at a time or you know we could just go out there and like get some divers or something and then when we came up to this restaurant and finally saw how big the lake was everyone is like mm -mm, no <laughs> That's why they haven't done it, it's like an ocean. Hi buddy. Good morning. So as you would have seen in a couple of clips, yesterday was the wedding and I really did want to chat to you guys beforehand when I was all dolled up, but it was actually a really, really busy day. Like we pretty much went from working out in the morning to helping everyone set up for the wedding out in the garden because it's obviously here where we're staying. And then we went out for some delicious falafels for lunch, which the locals recommended. And then, but honestly, by the time I came back, we were madly ironing things. I ironed Jazz's outfit because he was the best man. And so I did that, I did my dress, I got ready and before I knew it, it was literally 4.30 and we had to be outside to be having welcome drinks and then to watch the ceremony. But I didn't record too much of it just for their privacy, but it was so beautiful. It was more of a traditional Mexican ceremony. So they did a blessing of all of the families. We did this kind of conch shell looking thing and, and her mother was saying a little saying and every time we had to turn from north to south to east to west. And then also they did blessings of the elements of earth, fire, water, and wind i think i'm pretty sure i've got them all there so it was really really beautiful very touching and really soulful which is something that i haven't kind of witnessed or experienced in a wedding ceremony before so it was really really beautiful but now today is our last day here to relax and chill out then we're staying here tonight and then tomorrow we head off to new york so i think i might finish the vlog here and i'll see you guys in new york which i'm very excited for so hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of mexico and i'll speak to you soon bye